Hey everyone, it's Franny. I hope this day finds you doing well. I have um, an updated review on two products. Um, actually, one of the products I may not did have done a first impressions on. So, um, we're going to be talking today about... Oh, and by the way, I'm not... Disclaimer... I am not sponsored by neither one of these companies nor anyone else. These are just my personal thoughts. Um, they may or they may not be yours, and that's okay. Um, if you like these type of reviews, then please go on ahead and click the, um, the subscribe button. And click the no notification bell, and you'll be notified next time I get a new video. So we're going to talk today about the W7 um, In the Night palette. Now, I like the packaging. The packaging is very cool as far as packaging goes. These are the shadows and they, sorry about the lighting, they, they're actually quite beautiful. They're, um, you've got a wider range of colors here. You've got some shimmers as well as some mattes, and the shimmers are really shimmers. They're true, they're true shimmers. True shimmers. Hmm. Okay, now, I got this palette on sale for $3 at Ulta, uh, not Ulta, at um, TJ Maxx, and no, I'm not sponsored by them either. Um, <clears throat> I think it regular sold for 5 or 6 with that being said, it also comes with this little, this little part here is great for doing under the eyes. Uh, this part is just a little sponge applicator, which I have no use for. Um, so the things I like about this palette, I'll start with the positive first. I like the, con the packaging. I like the little spoolie thing. The colors are very pretty. I'm sure this is a dupe for, um, or supposed to be a dupe for one of the Naked palettes. I'm not quite sure which one. I don't have any of those palettes. But, um, so, yeah, the colors are very pretty. These are the things that I like about this palette. Now, the things that I don't like about the palette is that they are not pigmented. It is so hard to get these shadows to really work. Um, I always use an eye primer and as you know eye primers what they do is they help the eyeshadow to adhere to the eyes and it's supposed to help um, with the overall look and keep your eyeshadows from creasing and help them to stay on all day. Even with the eye primer, I have to go a second step. I have to use my a setting spray or something like a MAC uh, fix, fix, fix Plus, and I have to spray the brush and then apply it, and then it comes out a little bit darker. Beautiful colors, not pigmented, you know, I'm just going to swatch a couple here, and while they may show up on my arm, see, that shows up wonder, I don't know, I don't know if you can see that, um, that shows up really good, but when you use it, maybe the key is not to use a brush, because whenever you use it with a brush, I am telling you, it does not, um, it's not pigmented at all, and you just have to work a lot. Now, can you get good looks with this product? Absolutely. The looks are stunning whenever you, you go the extra mile and use a primer and then spray your brush. You can get some really good looks with this, but it's just a lot of work. Is this palette worth three dollars? I would say I, I would say absolutely, you know, for the trouble that you have to go through. Um yeah, and, you know, will I use this palette? Absolutely, because I bought it, so I'm going to use it. If nothing else, for reference. Um, but, 
and I'll probably declutter it at some time in my collection, but, and pass it on, but, uh, I will use it because I bought it, and is it worth five or six dollars? No, absolutely not. Sorry, um, I know that there are, there's like a, a following, if you will, somewhat of the W7s. This is the first one I bought. This will probably, not for sure, but probably be the last one I bought. Sorry, those are just my reviews on this. You may love this palette, and if you do, kudos, I'm glad for you. I just, it's just not my guarantee. Second review is on this J Cat um, makeup spray, and I'm going to put my glasses on so I can actually see the name of it. Um, I don't keep the glasses on because there's a glare on my part anyway. Um, makeup setting spray infused with aloe vera. This stuff from J Cat is the bomb.com. I really like this stuff. This makeup spray will make your makeup last all day long. It has a very pungent, flowery smell, if you can get over that smell. Um, it does not, the smell does not last very long, but it is pungent. Um, this stuff is fantastic. And I got this at a store called infinite and it was only like four bucks so yeah although you don't get that much for four bucks this is a really good deal so if you can get a hold of the jcat setting spray check it out they also have one uh to make your skin look matte so check that out this is a good steal this is a good buy and so those are my reviews um i hope i see you again uh, uh, you know, absolutely no offense on this palette. Some may like it. It just didn't work for me. It just didn't work for me. So, I hope that you have a great day, and I hope that you will join me again. Bye.